everybody, welcome back to the office. Uh, we're in Houston for a couple of weeks, going back to a hotbed of activity of coronavirus to El Paso, maybe in two or so. But uh, today there's uh, been some questions about Celsius and uh, they actually reached out and they said, hey, let's, whatever questions that you have, Rob and Digital Asset News, we would love to answer them. And thankfully, Alex Mashinsky, the CEO of Celsius came on here to answer the questions. And if you don't know, uh, Alex was the creator of Voice Over Internet Protocol, now more so for the Money Over Internet Protocol or MOIP. He's already gone through a couple of businesses, had some successful exits. And Alex, here you are today. Thanks for taking the time. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me back. Right on. So let's break into it, huh? Everybody's, everybody's busy. Let's see what we got. I'm going to share my screen real quick. Here's the different questions that we have brought to you by Digital Asset News and all the subscribers. So the questions are, first, we'll start with the ones that uh, we had come up with. There's five. Well, there's really four. How is yield created with Celsius? How is the Celsius token created and how does it hold value? Does Celsius ever invest in perpetual swaps and futures? Is the rehypothecation or rehypothecate in the terms and conditions for Celsius for lenders or borrowers collateral? And then we'll get to the others afterwards, but it's mostly the same types of things. So the first question we have, I think this is a big question on anybody, everybody's mind is how is yield created with Celsius? And in all actuality, uh, Alex went over this in his last Celsius AMA. And what's great about the AMA is that they're all time stamped. So he talked about this in 1556, uh, how is yield created? And you can go from 1556 to 22, which I listened to. And it was a lot of answers, but there was really no answers answers. And one of the things that you talked about was, hey, if you want to know how yield is created in Celsius, go do a Google search for finance magnates uh, with, with Nico. And I Googled that and I saw this one. It's an hour and 11 minutes long. It's great information, Alex, but I didn't hear anything about how is yield actually created. I heard a lot of good structure and, and different uh, opinions about what uh, could eventually happen. Water flowing down from the banks and bypassing them and into Celsius. Good information, but the question still remains, how is yield created in Celsius? Yeah, so thanks for asking it again. And if it wasn't clear, I'm happy to clarify that. The, um, in my MA, I was focused more on trying to explain to people that not all yield does, is the same, meaning that they really have to dig in and, like you are doing right now, ask very, very specific questions and, and let's, let's dive into it. So, uh, so we create yield in a very simple way, right? We uh, lend coins or dollars to institutions or individuals and they pay us interest right and uh, we have to worry about uh, uh, them returning the asset the underlying what we lent them and the interest that is acu acu accrued or accumulated uh, on the asset so the the interest is yield right so if we if i gave you a hundred dollars and i charge you ten dollars a year that's a ten percent yield and if I earned 10%, I'm going to pay 8% to the community. It's as simple as that. There's, no, there's nothing else complicated or like sophisticated computers doing algorithms or any of that stuff. It's very, very simple. Uh, uh, it's hard to become an institution that borrows from Celsius. We reject over 50% of people that come to us and say, I want to borrow coins from you. Uh, because we think that those counterparties are too risky. And in most of the cases, they're just small hedge funds or small institutions who don't have a balance sheet. And we just feel that it's too risky to lend them coins. And the decisions we make every day are, uh, should I lend to some of the more to the some of the largest institutions of Wall Street who are my customers, or should I take a small customer instead? And the answer almost every day is, I'd rather lend more to a billion dollar balance sheet company and take more risk with them then on board a $5 million or $10 million hedge fund. So that's kind of half of the uh, equation. The other half is what we call margin lending. So if you give me uh, one Bitcoin and it's worth $18,000 and you want to borrow uh, uh, money from me, uh, I can lend you $9,000 or 50% LTV, right? And I'm, I'm still going to charge you 9% interest or 10% interest and again, in this case, uh, I have an asset. I have a very liquid asset that I use as, as collateral. 
and, and you are a retail borrower. This is not institutional. This is retail borrowing where you can borrow dollars or stable coins against your main assets. Got it. 